Hey guys, how's it going? So, this is my last video that I'm filming in my dorm room here at ECC, and it's kind of bittersweet, and I'm really sad. I'm, I'm going to do a vlog of my whole, like, thoughts on graduating and all that stuff, and all my friends are saying goodbye to me, and I had to say goodbye to my boyfriend last night. It was really sad, so, it's bittersweet, and I thought, what better way to end my time here at ECC with an empties video. These are all products that have been used up since spring break, which was in middle of March. So I've been collecting these for about a month and a half, maybe two months, and there are a lot of products. There is a crazy amount of products in here. I've used up so many in the past two months. So I'm just going to get started. But first, I want to do a product that I've hit some major pan on. And I really don't hit pan on eyeshadows all that often, but this is the CoverGirl Shimmering Sands Trio, and I have hit major pan on this middle color here, and this is the one I use on my lid, so it's natural, I guess, that I've hit so much pan on it. I'm probably going to be done with this middle color by the end of the summer, because I use this almost every day. It's my go-to look, so yay, hit pan on something. <laughs> oh, we're just going to dig right into this big American Eagle bag full of stuff. This is probably going to be a very, very long video. And this will just be stuff pulled out at random. Um, used up two, three packs of my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. These are my absolute favorite. You see these in every empties video. And I used up three in the past two months. These are amazing. I love them. Used up, oops, used up a pack of Bic Soleil Twilight razors. It's just a four pack. I love these razors. Um, I have a couple of hair products in here which is pretty awesome. I used up this Herbal Essences Tussle Me Softly Styling Mousse. Really great mousse. One of my favorite from the drugstores. I use it when I'm scrunching my hair. Uh, used up another Clean and Clear Deep Action Clean Cream Cleanser. That's always a tongue twister to say. All-time favorite drugstore cream cleanser. I like this. Um, I use this at night. If you want a skincare video, I will link that right here. It hasn't changed all that much. Um, another skincare item. I used up this Neutrogena Olay Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Cream Cleanser. I use this when I'm having breakouts, like I have one on my nose right now. Uh, this is really great. It has salicylic acid in it, and it really helps clear up your acne breakouts. Um, but I do not use this all the time. Like I said, I only use it when I have an acne breakout because this dries out your skin like crazy. But it's amazing and it smells amazing. Used up this L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Free Nourishing Shampoo. This is one of my new favorite shampoos. Um, it's very moisturizing and it doesn't have any sulfates. It doesn't have harsh salts in it. It doesn't weigh your hair down and... It makes your hair feel very moisturized, and my hair feels very dry ever since I got it bleached, so this is a great thing to have. Now this is a miracle. I actually used up a fragrance. This is Bath & Body Works Carried Away. One of the very first scents I think I ever bought from Bath & Body Works before I really got into Bath & Body Works products, so I've had this for about two years now. It's amazing. I love it. I would probably go and repurchase this, but I can't, I've never gone through an entire perfume before, so I'm really excited about using this one up, and I had a rule that I was not going to buy another body spray until I used one up, so I finally used one up. I'm probably going to keep that rule until I use up some more, because I have two more sprays from Bath & Body Works that I'm about halfway done with, so I want to use those up before I buy any more. Unless I just miss this so much that I have to go buy another one. Might, that might happen. Um, another Bath & Body Works product I used up. This is the Black Raspberry Vanilla Shower Gel. This is my all-time favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. And I'm so upset that it was discontinued. Me and my best friend Marissa are obsessed with this. And sadly, like I said, it's discontinued. So you can't buy it anymore. I might see if they have it on sale at the semi-annual sale coming up this summer because I usually bring it back for that. But this is amazing and it smells so, so good. It's just berry goodness and I'm so sad it's used up but I'm so glad because I'm trying to use up my shower gels because I have an obscene amount of them. When you work at Bath & Body Works, you accumulate a lot of crap you don't really need. Like another product 
from Bath and Body Works. This is a little travel size of Aruba Coconut. I had this um, when it came out last year. It looks like there's some in there, but I literally cannot get any more out. And I just used this up the other night. It's okay. You know, I'm not over the moon about it. It smells like coconut. Coconut lotions are a dime a dozen. I will not be repurchasing this just because I'm not all that enthused with the scent, but I'm just glad to have used it up and get it out of my collection. <clears throat> uh, used up the Shure deodorant. Not much to say about it, you know, it's deodorant. Used up these Oral B Glide 3D White Floss Picks. I like using these instead of regular floss because my teeth are so crooked, this helps me just get in between the teeth. I am not getting braces. Mm. Okay, last hair product and then the rest. Okay. I have this Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I bought this from a little trial size from Ulta after I dyed, dyed my hair. I loved this stuff. It was amazing. It felt, made my hair feel so good and it smelled really good. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it though because the big tubs of these are like 30 bucks, which is a lot for a hair product. I mean, I don't feel the like I could justify it, but I at the same time, I really, really want to get it because this was amazing. Maybe I'll just buy a couple packets of these because these were only $4 and it lasted me for two, two uses, so this was amazing. Okay, and then I have these La Fresh Travel Light Makeup Remover Wipes. This is a little travel size set I got from an Ipsy bag in March and these are okay kind of stung my eyes a little bit and they didn't really remove my makeup well enough so I'm not going to purchase these in the full size you know like I said these Neutrogena wipes are my holy grail I cannot find another makeup remover wipe that I like more than these so these paled in comparison okay the rest is all makeup I used up a lot of makeup in the past two months and something different I tried, I actually did a blog post on this and I will link it right here. I put some products that I was almost out of into this little Ipsy bag that I got from a few months ago and I was like, okay, I'm going to commit myself to using just these products and I'm going to use them up and get them out of my collection and they were products that I probably will not repurchase because I found better things but I've had them in my collection for a long time and I felt like I really need to get rid of them. So this system worked. I used up like two or three of the products that I had in here and when I'm, uh, I have everything packed up right now because I'm in the process of moving out so I don't have anything in here yet. I only have my daily necessities so, but this was a really great idea and I will probably continue doing this when I want to use up more of my products. So. Lots of makeup products. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve makeup products I used up. Oh, another scent I used up this little trial size Miss Dior Cherie perfume that I got in a birch box a while ago. I freaking love this perfume. I want to buy this in the full size. It's seventy-five dollars kind of hard for me to like justify it but I'm probably going to ask like for gift cards for my birthday or something from Ulta so I can buy this perfume because it's amazing. I love it. And it smells so good. I wear this every day during rush um, through sorority recruitment. In the fall I used it for my brother's graduation. If I could, if I had any more I'd use it for my graduation tomorrow. It's just a special occasion perfume that I feel like really gets me excited and feels really feminine and flirty, so this was amazing. On to the lots and lots of makeup samples. On to the lots of makeup products. I used up these nail in cocoa nail polish applique stickers. I don't have I don't have anything to show you of what they looked like. But they were blue and they had little light blue floral de decorations all over them. They were just nail stickers. I wouldn't say that they lasted 14 days like they did on, like the packaging said they did. They lasted for about a week and they chipped within a week, but it was really nice. It was really easy to apply. I really liked them. I was kind of iffy on nail stickers. These were the first nail stickers I ever tried. I'm kind of interested in trying some more, so if you could recommend some good brands. I haven't heard anything about the Sally Hansen ones, so if you all could let me know how those are. I might go check some out. Um, 
But yeah, it was fun to try those. Uh, I used up this CoverGirl Nature Lux foundation. This has been sitting in my collection for about a year now. Um, it was my holy grail foundation until I started using the Revlon Color Stay Whipped foundation and then the Revlon Nearly Naked. So I just wanted to use this up because it was almost gone. It was a great foundation at the time. Now I'm just kind of meh about it. I probably will not repurchase this and I think they actually might be phasing this out because every time I'm in Ulta or Target or uh, Walgreens, <clears throat> excuse me, it's always on clearance. So I'm wondering if they're going to start phasing this out. I don't know. Don't quote me. But yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Um, whoops. Next is a product that I actually really, really liked. This is the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream. And I have a video um, with a demo and review and I'll link that right here. There'll be lots of links for a lot of videos. Um, I hope I can remember to put them in. This was great. It gives a lot of full coverage. I mean, it's, it gives some coverage. It's about sheer to medium. I really liked this for the days that I was on my in a rush to get to class. And I wanted some coverage, but I didn't want to have a lot of makeup on, if you get what I'm saying. This was great. Um, not worth... It's, like, expensive, though. There's, like... It was $10 for only one fluid ounce. And this lasted me three months. Normally, a... Normally if, I now, uh, normally a foundation will last me almost a year. It'll take me a year to get through a foundation, but this took me a long, a short time, which maybe I was applying too much. Maybe there wasn't enough product in here. I don't know. But this was great. I probably will repurchase this after I work through some of my foundations. I have a tinted moisturizer here. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer Tinted Moisturizer. I've had this since freshman year of college. So this is going on three years. It took me three years to get through this sucker. It was, it kind of sucked. Okay, I'm just going to say it. That's probably why it took me so long to get through. I didn't like applying it. I didn't get enough coverage. It, it like completely went away after you put it into your skin. Um, shade ranges kind of sucked. It was kind of pricey. This is the first Neutrogena product I've actually tried. Not enthused with it. I did like, however, that it had a pump up here, but that's the only pretty redeeming factor in it. I will not be repurchasing this at all. Okay, I have, there is crap all over these products. I don't, I don't know what that is. It's gross. Okay, this is a concealer from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This took me the greater part of a year to go through. Yeah, did I get it? When did I buy this? I bought this a long time ago that I can't even remember. But I think I bought it before the sophomore year of college. So yeah, almost two years. I don't get why everybody likes this. There's a bunch of YouTubers on here who are raving about the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Uh, I think Makeup Geek raved about it and a couple others. I just didn't think it was that great. Maybe my shade was just way too light, but it made my under eyes look white. Like, it had a white undercast, and I hate the really white look of under eyes. I just want my dark circles to be neutralized. I don't want it to be too bright and get reverse raccoon eyes. Um, this seeped into my fine lines and wrinkles. Didn't conceal at all. If I put it on a blemish, it just looked awful. And it wore off really quickly, even if I set it with a under eye setting powder. So I will not be repurchasing this. I was less than enthused with this concealer. Okay, two mascaras here. This is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. I picked this up a few months ago from Walgreens. I really like this mascara. I'm gonna I'm gonna be completely honest. I didn't have very high expectations. I've never tried a Maybelline mascara. Um, I know a lot of people like their mascaras. I think they're way too wet, and the I don't like the gimmickiness of them, but I freaking love this mascara. It took me a while to like, though. It had to dry out for, like, a couple weeks. I opened it, and I tried it once, set it aside, and then as I was running out of mascaras, I reached for this again. Once it dried out, I really liked it. It did a really good job of separating my lashes and making them look more voluminous and longer, and it didn't clump at all unless you pressed way too hard, and then it got kind of messy, but this is great. I will probably go repurchase this. I I was blown away. I was blown away. I'm thinking of doing my top five mascaras from the drugstore, so let me know if you guys are interested in that. Um, this one was something I was less than enthused with. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Plump Mascara. I did not purchase this for myself. I won it in a giveaway. The wand looks 
kind of generic. Didn't really do much for my lashes. It clumped like crazy. And this was too dry. Like it did not adhere to my lashes at all. And it flaked everywhere. I am definitely less than enthused. I am honestly, I didn't even use this up. I used this once and I'm just said, screw it. I'm not even going to try. So it's in here. I'm going to throw it away. Wouldn't be an empties video without a tube of Carmex. An eyeliner here. I haven't used this up, but it's dried out. I can't really use it anymore. So this is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner. It's one of those that you just kind of roll up here. It's dried out. I can't use it. And after trying my, after trying the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Pencils, this just kind of sucks in comparison. I liked this at the time when it was the only eyeliner I had, but I have since moved on to other eyeliners. I will not be repurchasing this, even though it was really cheap and affordable. Last three products, and they're all trial size versions, um, used up this Chella Eyebrow Defining Gel. This was, I got this in an Ipsy bag a while ago. Clear brow gel. Um, wasn't all that spectacular, I will say. I prefer my Maybelline Clear Mascara that I use for my brow gel, but this was okay to try. Not for purchasing that. Um, I finally used up this little itty bitty professional from Benefit. This is just a face primer. It was okay. I didn't really care for it. I like my Benefit. Um, I've tried, um, since then I've tried other primers that I liked for my face a little bit better than this one. I can't believe that it took me a year and a half to go through this itty bitty primer. I mean, I went through the other, I got this in a set with Benefit, That Gal, and their a little itty bitty um, eye primer of theirs, the, what is that one? I don't know, anyway, with their little eye primer, there's a set of little three trial size. I went through the That Gal within like three weeks. This took me a year and a half. That's crazy. It just goes to show you really don't need that much of this to use, but I'm glad to finally use this up. And then the last product is another trial size sample of a primer. This is the Tarte Clean, Clean Slate 360 Creaseless Eyeshadow Primer. I got this in a group. I got this in a bunch of little makeup products that my friend Kelly gave me. I tried this before. I didn't care for it the first time around and I didn't care for it the second time around, but I used it up. It's done and I'm kind of glad. It's too oily. It creased like crazy and I just feel like there are other primers that do a better job than this, so I'm not going to be repurchasing this um, at all. Look at how many, that's how many products I used up. I'm so proud of myself. Um, my collection has definitely gotten smaller and it makes me happy to have gotten these products out of my life, decluttered. It's amazing. So definitely going to keep collecting the products I use up and trying to go through some more of them. And I have, I keep putting myself on makeup no buys and I always break them. It happens, but thank you guys so much for watching, and my background is going to be changing, so when you see my next, um, my next few videos are videos I have pre-recorded, um, my next two ones are, so even though I will be moving out of my dorm tomorrow, I will not be in my new setup yet, um, those will, it probably won't be a new video in that setup for a week, um, just while I get settled in my grandparents' house. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, click the subscribe button, don't miss a video, um, connect through me through Twitter or Instagram, follow my blog, I'm doing more blog posts, um, what else do I need to tell you guys, I'm, I'm blanking, uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, leave video requests down in the comments below, and I'll see you all very soon, bye.